So what we're going to learn this lesson are some words that have more than one meaning. And we're going to do some collocations. That means words that we know will go together. So our first word is field. 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 Which is an area of open land, such that you might find on a farm. This is a field of flowers. Field can also mean a particular study or uh, some expertise that you have. In the example you'll see on screen, we can see this person was an expert in the field of physics. You could be an expert in the field of finance or education. Same word, field, but now a different meaning. This word describes a number of people competing in a contest or sport. In the example you can see on screen, this is something to do with horse riding. So we could talk about the field of contestants. This is another field, and this one describes an area where competitions take place. The example on screen is a baseball field. Our next word is area. 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 Which again has more than one meaning. The example you can see on screen is one where we use the word area to describe a particular part of a town or country or even the world. Same word, same pronunciation, different meaning. This area is the measurement of a surface, how much area it covers. And you can see here, we're looking at the area of a triangle. Same word, same pronunciation. This area describes a subject, activity or interest, your particular expertise. It can either be yours personally, or it could be a role that you do for your company. For example, you might be in finance. That's your area of expertise. You could be in marketing. Again, that is your particular area of expertise. Here we can see the word market. M -R -K -E -T. M-A-R-K-E-T. Which describes a place where people buy and sell things. Normally in the outside, in the open air. The kind of street market. Here we can see how the market evolved to become a supermarket. So here our word is supermarket, a building where you can buy many different kinds of things in the one place. So here super means really, really good. And so we end up with not an outdoor market, but a place that is much more convenient. So a supermarket. Here we've got two words together, one describing what is bought and sold, and the second describing the type of place it is. So here we can see a very common business word, the financial market, which can describe anywhere where buyers and sellers actively trade in assets, such as stocks, bonds, currencies, etc. So financial market. Here we can see again two words put together. Stock market. Stock market. And this describes the place where stocks and bonds are traded for companies. And where we trade, one thing is exchanged for another. Bits of paper for money, example. So that's why the place where this happens is generally called the stock exchange. Here we can see two words brought together. Online market. Now we know already what market means. It's somewhere where things are bought and sold. Online simply describes the practice of the internet. So this is a way of describing how people are using their computers to buy and sell things. So, it's no good just learning all these new words, we should start using them. So now try answering these questions. What's your area of expertise?
What field are you in? What market does your company serve? There were lots of words in this lesson, so now for your idioms. To be in the market for something. To be in the market for something. What do you think it means? Well, if you're in the market for something, then you are interested in buying or getting it. And just like our screen, sadly, I'm not in the market for a luxury car just now. But you never know. And here's our second idiom, something that is a grey area. As you can see on screen, that's a grey cloud. A grey area means something that is not clearly defined. So you're not quite sure whether you should turn left or turn right, whether you should start work early or finish work late. Here's our third business idiom, which is to put something in black and white. Now, unlike our grey area, if something is in black and white, it is clearly defined. Think of black ink on a white page, and you get the basis of this idiom. So this means to write something down and document exactly what is expected. So that's it for this lesson. I hope you've learned something interesting. Do keep practicing your English, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.